We're at SDN5 School in Songen. Songen is in the Mount Batur crater and many of you may know Mount Batur because you've climbed it. So it's an area where there is some adventure tourism but the majority of the district is market gardening. This is a big school, a lot of children, quite overcrowded, so generally very, very poor, paid very low wages and work terribly hard. By giving these children a good education, it gives their family a future beyond the toil in the fields. So in the purpose of this space, it's a library and it's a library we've upgraded thanks to the benefit of a group of young staff who work on a super yacht. We're not allowed to say their name, they're quite famous people, but the staff raised money and, reno and created the funding to renovate this library, which means we've cleaned it up, painted it. Um, the staff came when the, when the yacht was in Bali and painted the walls with all these great illustrations. Um, it also, they also funded putting in a television, which we use to deliver our, our audio visual curriculum, and they funded providing a lot of new bo books for this library. So the space here um, is a space where the children can come and do remedial literacy, writing and numeracy. Really important because Indonesia's schools were closed for at least 21 months during the COVID pandemic and the schools are still teaching on 50%, which means the students are getting 50% of what they're meant to get after 21 months of nothing. As a result, Capacity to read and write in the grade twos and threes is really badly affected. The grade ones brand new into school are in a better position. This is a really important space to flip that and make a new generation of education in this district. Once all the teacher training is completed, and that is for remedial reading, writing and numeracy, and also English as a foreign language, which we're teaching for the grade four to six children. This is a pen. This is a pen. This is a pen. This is a cat. This is a cat. This is a cat. So we've got a whole lot of teachers to train. Once that is done, our librarians will then be trained to use the new SLIM system. SLIM is a library categorisation system which we've developed in conjunction with the National Library Program in Jakarta. The SLIM system has categorised the books. The books have been placed in shelves that are specific to that category. In a laptop we have all that information. We now need to teach our librarians to use the SLIM system so they can identify the books at the appropriate age appropriate and interest appropriate for the children and also, and most importantly, to teach the children to use reading as a way of gaining information. This is a box. Focus from grade one to three is learn to read and be a functionally capable reader, and grades four to six, read to learn. So the librarian teaching will be about teaching our librarians how to engage children in the process of reading to learn. It'll be game-based, it'll be gamified, as is all our curriculum, because that's a great way to get results. This will be a first generation for us where we've started with Grade 1. We plan to take this Grade 1 group all the way through to Grade 6 in this school, checking every six months how they're going with their key learning, and, and filling in the gaps as we identify them. The plan is to bring this generation through to grade six, where they've got, they are really skilled to move into junior high school and benefit from their junior and senior high school education. From today, we're talking 12 years before we get our first graduates at year 12, and then some time for them to move into tertiary, business development, whatever they do, or straight employment. So really, to get the change in this district, it's a 20-year program. But we know from the communities we've worked in in North Bali, where we've been for 19 years, this kind of consistent commitment brings real change. 
and the districts we started with first in North Bali are now basically sustainable. They've moved beyond their earlier disadvantage. So we cannot see why this district would be any different and it will be wonderful to see what it looks like in 20 years time. I guess I won't be around to see it, but hopefully our teachers will and I'm certainly the children will be.